Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Brandro.com. We're taking a look at the Sandboxer booth here at uh, Game Developer Conference or GDC 2013. Uh, now what these guys do is, I think you've probably seen it before, but they use a, a 3D printing model technique to create uh, characters, your favorite game characters or um, 3D models and um, to and regular folks like you and I. So you can see they're as detailed as you want. Um, this is a little fragile right here. But, um, and pretty amazing. So what, what this means for you and I is, uh, I guess if you're a game developer, you can submit your 3D model to these guys. So just your regular video game character, like say if it was Mario or Link or Zelda, you would be able to send it to these guys where they would be able to print it on a mass scale and uh, offer it to people like you and I through an Android application. So um, it's fully customizable. The Android application allows you to create poses, uh, do all kinds of stuff. Here we have Rob taking a look at it right now on an Asus tablet. Now this would be available in the Google Play Store and you would just download this application, look for your favorite, I guess like game publisher or game, just your favorite video game and see if a developer has submitted their uh, 3D model to it and from there you can customize, I mean, just about everything. The way their face looks, their mouth opening, they can have weapons. Tons and tons of customizable stuff. So uh, you can even make them battle each other. I showed you that another one over there. You've got two characters going at it. And once you're done, uh, you would actually just click like yes to buy and these guys would send it off to you. So they, for developers, these guys handle pretty much everything. The only thing a developer would have to do is submit their 3D artwork. These guys would handle all the printing, all the shipping to consumers. And it's just pretty awesome. What I guess it allows the developers is just to have their own storefront. Another way for them to make money by giving people a real physical object. So it takes all their, their cool designs that they made for a game and it brings it into the real world. And it is pretty amazing. Awesomely epic. So you see Rob actually added another character there. Let's take a look at just some more of these models. They are incredibly well detailed. Yeah, we are. This little guy. So these guys are on Kickstarter right now, trying to uh, get a little more money for this stuff. You can see there, support them on Kickstarter. This one's awesome. This guy. Look, you can do like. What the heck? Yeah, so you can see he was crawling on the ground doing all kinds of stuff. So they can do like that would be the... Yeah, like a game developer would be the guy, would be the one that um, judges how the guy moves and what can be adjusted. So it can be as in-depth or crazy as a, a developer wants it to be. You can have your own little guy doing a Gangnam style. So you'd have another little, another little uh, slider for Gangnam style and he can do the little... That's sick. <laughs> Pretty darn awesome. So that's Sandboxer here at GDC 2013. Chris Chavez, Rob Jackson with Pandra.com. See you guys next time.